How do you convert to Islam? You convert to Islam, embracing the fold, because you chose to submit and surrender to the will of your creator voluntarily. You realize that you were created to worship God, and only when you submit to the one true God and live according to his divinely revealed laws will you achieve true peace of mind and surety of heart. You understand that no one is worthy of your worship and veneration except the one true creator, the ultimate creator, the creator of this world and everything in it. You realize that the only true purpose of your life is to find God, build a relationship with him and follow his commandments. You realize that God, the Almighty, would not leave you in darkness without guiding and showing you how he wants you to live. So, your creator chose messengers and prophets throughout history to send to different nations at different times, to communicate his message to humanity and show how you should live, and to teach you about him. These prophets came with glad tidings, stating that whoever worships the one God with no partners and lives a righteous life while obeying God's commands will enter paradise eternally, and whoever worships other than Allah and does not follow God's commandments will enter hellfire. You convert to the faith, realizing that Islam will change your life for the better, and that Islam will provide you the light to guide your life and grant you true salvation from eternal hellfire. You have searched for your life's purpose and your creator, sincere and curious to learn the truth. Now you are being guided to the truth by the will of God and by his mercy, love, and justice. God decided to guide you. He guides those he wills and pleases. You realize that Islam is the true religion of God and you are ready to embrace the fold. In Islam, every action begins with an intention. So start by setting an intention in your heart to embrace Islam for the sake of God alone. It's highly recommended that you first take a bath or shower to symbolically purify and cleanse yourself of your past life and past sins. It's also recommended to wear suitable clothes on the day of your conversion. Unlike other religions, converting to Islam does not involve rituals, ceremonies, or baptisms. All you have to do is declare the testimony of faith, known as the Shahada in Arabic, the first of the five pillars of Islam. These two statements encapsulate all the beliefs of Islam. Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah i bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except allah and i bear witness that muhammad is his servant and messenger you can state this phrase in privacy by yourself or in public with witnesses which is recommended you will have help with the accuracy of the pronunciation of the wording in arabic the testimony of faith is recommended and often done publicly in a mosque or gathering. You testify, acknowledge, and avow that you are convinced that no deity is worthy of worship and veneration other than Allah. Allah is the unique name of God, the ultimate creator. You acknowledge that there is only one God, the sustainer, the creator who controls all matters and all things and has no partners, children, or associates. He is the most high, most merciful, all-knowing, all-wise, all-seeing, all-hearing. He is the first, he is the last. You also testify and acknowledge that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is God's last and final messenger, sent to relay the same general message as the prophets before him. He is the best example and role model for humanity, a slave and worshipper of Allah and should not be wrongly worshipped like past prophets who were only human messengers of God and not God himself.